sa inyong lahat. Ito po si Dr. Jaime Sicarelis Jr., uh, Dean ng CPU College of Agriculture, Resources, and uh, Environmental Sciences. Uh, sa ngayong araw po, uh, in behalf na wala ako dito sa inyong harapan live, but uh, this is the taping of our program now that will be showcasing about commercial production of uh, Philippine native chicken. Uh, this is the task as, uh, given to us by the Department of Culture uh, to speak about on the investment forum for today's activity. So, ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng uh, Philippine native chicken? No, pag sinabi din po natin na Philippine native chicken, these are what they call the native fowl that can be found in the uh, Philippines. Na uh, they may not be indigenous, iba kasi pag sinabi natin indigenous, uh, dito mo lang makikita but when you say about native chicken, it used to proliferate in the country for almost several decades and were able to thrive no, given the local conditions and uh, local resources. Uh, pag sinabi po natin ng local condition, ng no, climatic condition, it refers on the suguro sa init, sa lamig, na uh, they were able to uh, survive no, and behalf of those climatic conditions and uh, available local resources that can be found no, in this uh, locality. So, the common practice that we have known is that uh, raisers are keeping native chicken because they wanted to have it to be the source of their food. Uh, uh, ito po kasi ang pinakamamura uh, na source ng itlog at saka karne sa mga lokality natin, sa kabaranggayan o di kaya sa mabukirin, kung saan dito po natin makikita ang karamihan na native chicken. And the technology being given to them or being practiced is what they call the backyard scale of production. Pag sinabi po natin backyard scale of production, ito po yung pag-alaga ng manok na paunti-unti. Uh, meaning that in every household, if there are about mga 10 to 20 hens or about uh, uh, paired with uh, 2 to 5 roasters, no, that is what they call the common practice. Some other farmers are giving it with um, housing and uh, supplemental feeding. But today, we'll be discussing about the business opportunities of keeping this native chicken, no, particularly our native chicken, iba kasi ang Philippine native chicken with the commercial na uh, native chicken. No, yung tawag natin is pari native chicken. Now, we say about pari native chicken, the other term for it is what they call the uh, colored broilers. Pag sinabi po ating colored broilers, yung parang lumaki na kasing bilis ng broilers, no, kaya lang yung mga balahibo niya, it possesses what they call the colors. No, it may vary from uh, brickes, brick red, or maybe uh, itim, or what other colors. No, but it is known as what they call the colored broilers. And they are commonly raised no, for dual purpose. When you say about dual purpose, it can be raised both for egg production and uh, meat production. But today, I will be discussing more on the opportunities behind what they call the Philippine native chicken. So, when we say about Philippine native chicken, there are two major groups of native chicken in the Philippines. We have what they call the larger genetic group and the smaller genetic group. When we say about larger genetic group, uh, ito po yung mga lahi na manok na katulad ng uh, uh, basilan chicken. No, you have what they call the parawakan no, of Palawan. No, basilan can be found in Sambonga Peninsula. And right now, they're developing what they call the uh, Sampin Chicken. The Sampin Chicken, no, that is what they call the Samwanga Peninsula Chicken, originated from what they call purified out of the Basilan Chicken. The Parawakan no, uh, can be found in Palawan. And we have also what they call the Hulu Chicken no, in Western Visayas. And we have what they call the Egon in uh, Bicol Region and the Huluano in Northern Luzon areas. So these are what they call the larger genetic group. Uh, they can grow as uh, more than one kilogram no, in just a matter of uh, maybe two and a half months or even three months. Now, malaki po to manok to and uh, it is noted to become resistance to diseases. Ang isa lang sa mga consideration dito, it has what they call the tough meat. No, medyo may katigasan yung karni ng manok na to. Uh, the other group is what they call the smaller genetic group. No, ang smaller genetic group naman natin, now, we have what they call the uh, Bisaya chicken no, of uh, the Bisayas and Mindanao area. These are what they call the group of native chicken that can, uh, that can be found no, in wider areas no, of uh, regions in the uh, Bisayas and Mindanao. 
We have what they call the Tagalog chicken, no, and Sadon Tagalog. No, we have also what they call the Darag chicken. The Darag chicken of Panay Island is, is uh, purified. No, it has what they call a dimorphism in terms of color. Kasi yung kulay ng inahin niya, no, we have what they call the pencil brown. While yung uh, kanyang uh, rotandang naman, you have what they call the uh, pula-pulahin yung kulay. Now, what you have what they call a grayish to black uh, leg, uh, shank color. Now, this is purified out of the Bisaya chicken no, in Western Bisayas. We have also what they call the Banaba chicken. No, found This is the native chicken of uh, can be found in Batangas area. Na yung pinaka kuanang, no, you have what they call dispersed in the legs, both for male and uh, female. We have also what they call the uh, Camarines chicken. No? It is barred in color or bullock in kulay that can be found in the uh, Bicol area. We have also what they call the Bulinao chicken no? in the uh, Pangasinan area. No? But yung pinakamarami in Tagalog or Luzon area is what they call the Manok Tagalog. So, minsan merong ang, uh, uh, joke dito na pag yung Manok daw can be found in uh, Visayas area, it is known as what they call the uh, Manok Bisaya, but when it goes to Manila or to the Luzon area, Tagalog speaking area, it becomes Manok Tagalog. So that is what they call the counterpart of the uh, 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 smaller genetic group no, of native chicken in the Philippines. Now, uh, Central Philippine University is working on uh, various researches on native chicken as early as 1990s, no, but we formalize our uh medyo malaki ang study na kinandak namin way back as early as 2002 no uh, we conducted studies from the market demand the production side and other studies necessary to lead into what they call commercial production of native chicken yung pinakaiba ng CPO po over the other institution is that uh, CPO no uh, is gearing on research on native chicken but it is what they call in a full blast or a commercial scale, not what they call the backyard scale of production. Uh, given that the condition, no, that the demand for native chicken all throughout the country keeps on increasing, pero yung problema natin is that in terms of the supply na manok, parang di madami. As early as 1960s, the demand is as high as uh, millions, but the as and then it goes down in 2004, 2013, Yung recorded data, accumulated data for the whole country, the total demand for native chicken is about more than 230 million per year. Ang problema natin how uh, this demand can be met and uh, it will be only confining ourselves in doing what they call the backyard scale of production parang walang mayayari sa atin in terms of raising the native chicken. So that is why we bank, no, the CPU bank on researches focuses in terms of commercial production. Pero sa ati pong taga uh, pakinig o taga nandito po sa uh, investment forum na to, ano ba, sa inyo, sino ba ang uh, CPU? Pag sinabi natin CPU po, uh, that is known as what they call the Central Philippine University. Uh, based on the data, yung uh, pinakasentro daw ng uh, Pilipinas can be found in us. No? Uh, I don't know how the Americans were able to determine why that the center of the Philippines can be found at Central Philippine University. Yung pinaka common down na central point ng Pilipinas can be found along our flagpole in the uh, campus. CPO is one of the uh, premier university in this uh, country. Uh, uh, we recorded as uh, also noted to have what they call the uh, number of uh, academic uh, department now belonging in the Center of Excellence and the uh, Center of Development now under the Commission of Higher Education. Now, the College of Agriculture Resources and Environmental Sciences uh, is uh, ranked now one of the uh, university classified under the Center of Excellence. Actually, the Central Philippine University, this is the only university in the uh, Western Visayas or we located at Haro Ilu City now that used to offer college of agriculture now uh, within the city. Now, so we have what they call also various facilities and we have also farms now in Leon and in Saraga where our laboratory and production uh, uh, activities is being uh, bring down. 
uh, CPO as an education institution, our one of our pillar also is what they call in terms of the research. And this university is committed uh, to help the Philippine Native industry through scientific innovation. That is why that we conducted various researches. Researches focusing on the commercial production of native chicken. Now, we're not only raising chicken by the hundreds, but uh, we used to raise native chicken by the thousands. Now, to simulate really the industry is that why is that uh, in behalf of the demand, in behalf of the uh, uh, claim of human distinctive taste, but why is that this kind of industry na hindi po maka uh, boilo. So, Native Chicken as one of our banner program no, at CPU. Now, uh, we are also used to develop also technologies no, uh, yung isa kasi sa pinaka-consideration natin in terms of the uh, raising Native Chicken is that no, this university used to bridge the gap between the racers and the consumers. Bakit po? Sa katotohanan po, it is the middleman. The larger, the, the greater number of middlemen can be found on the center between the uh, racers and the consumers. That is why that uh, parang logi ata. Why? Because the trend is that in terms of the pricing of the chicken, mura ang bilihan na manok doon sa part ng mga racer, but when it reaches the consumers, sobrang mahal. So that is why that this university, no, used or dream or where is working no on to bridge and how to bridge no the gap between consumers and the uh, racers through the process known as what is called innovative production and marketing scheme and we are doing it in this university na para naman na mapataas yung kita ng racers natin ng mga farmers natin at the same time yung mga produkto naman dumating doon sa ating mga consumers will be more affordable on the part na no? And then, uh, as note down, uh, CPU is uh, conducting researches no, as early as 1980s or 1990s. And uh, we become seriously doing researches on native chicken in 2002. But in terms of really immersing ourselves, no, in terms of uh, researching on native chicken, it was in 2012 where we started no, the simulation of the commercial scale of production. So that's how. So konting natin pa 2012 to 2019. Sa so ngayon po, no, that is almost uh, in seven years. No, the, the station or the CPU, no, uh, research station for Pilipinative chicken, this is one of the largest research station for Pilipinative chicken all throughout the country. Now, way back then, and even up to now, no, we are raising not only hundreds, but then we are raising about 1,250 chickens. Inahin pa lang yan. Hindi pa yan kasali doon yung uh, tawag ito yung mga tandang at saka yung mga sisiw. That is why, based on experience, not only experience, but we cope with that also with what they call the uh, science behind of raising native chicken in commercial scale. Now, uh, what are the products and services? that used to be the developed in this station for that number of years of decades of conducting studies pertaining on native chicken. Now, iba kasi, yeah, if we are only conducting uh, research for the sake of generating information, iba naman yung dating niya, if we are conducting research, not only research, but we are integrating business out of research. Uh, iba kasi ng usapan, if just only to produce and produce knowledge and to produce information and produce information, then those information should be processed and uh, narrow it down into a technology and being performed right in the station. Iba kasi ng usapan if the station is just only producing uh, technology at saka those station that really perform business out of the studies or out of the output that were conducted in there uh, along with the uh, implementation of the various researches uh, being done in this station. So, out of the number of years that we are dealing on researches, no, uh, we develop various product and services. No, kaya nga sabi nila, the, the CPU research station for Philippine Native Chicken is noted to become a one-stop shop. No, in terms of technology, in terms of services, and in terms of the products no, uh, devoted solely for the upliftment of the Philippine Native Chicken industry. 
uh, kung sabihin natin, para sabihin natin that this industry is the in the infant stage. Actually, matagal na itong industry ito. The only thing is that uh, when we are conducting researches, iba kasi yung perception ng researches na doing it on a commercial scale and uh, doing business mismo na doon sa research station. So, we tend to develop, uh, we develop actually various products and services out of our researches in the uh, station. So, to those who uh, have uh, maybe not, not enough, no enough knowledge in terms of raising native chicken on commercial scales, now we, we are suggesting for you as a good reading material. Now we uh, develop or we have written or we develop and package technology uh, pertaining and commercial production of native chicken. Actually, this book can only be found or can only be purchased right at Central Philippine University. Now, ito pong book na to is pertinent on the commercial production of organic Philippine native chicken. So, lahat ng technology that we develop no, and experience at the station uh, is being, well, we develop it into packages of technology and it is written in this book. Actually, the price of this book is about 2500 with free shipping na po nationwide. So, if you have, uh, or if you would like to have a copy of this book, now you can contact the number na written on the uh, slide. No, importante kasi itong bukas ito, uh, iba kasi yung ang perception natin if we, if we try to, if you, if you try to implement the uh, package of technology pertaining and backyard scale of production and uh, doing it, no, raising a larger number of chicken, baka po delikado po. Uh, there are number and various institutions and individuals and OFWs that try to venture you know, on raising native chicken in commercial scale, but applying the technology, focusing on backyard, marami po nulugi. At a start, maganda po yung operation, but as the number of the years, no, uh, tumatagal po, uh, delikado po. The, 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 the key problem always there is what they call the sustainability of uh, operation. So right from this book, no, dito po sa loob dito, makikita nyo lahat lahat. No, from the basic information in terms of economics, uh, we have also breeding, no, housing and ranging areas, no, and then the pit formulation. Yung isa po sa critical dito is what they call the pit formulation. No, so as po ngayon, sobrang taas po ng uh, presyo ng ating commercial feeds. But in terms of the uh, uh, bilihan po, yung presyo po naman natin na native, ay hindi po ganun kataas po. Kaya nga, pag tumaas yung uh, uh, presyo ng ating supplemental feeds, it will follow also what they call the production cost that will also likely to increase. And uh, yung isa po dito, is lahat ng people from Malaysia pro, from from the booster, starter, grower, and uh, uh, beater formulation is written in this book. And uh, the common cultural practices, uh, cultural practices from day one hanggang po dumating doon po sa marketable age, uh, is also written in this book. No? So makikita po doon anong gagawin mo when the chicks arrive, arrive in your uh, uh, project, no? and then up to the marketing age. Kasi yun po yung marketing age natin, now, it can be narrowed down even up to as uh, less than 60 days. Now, ganyan po native chicken natin, if only proper care and management can be done, now, that is a competitive one. The only thing is that uh, palagi po natin iniisip na uh, yung native chicken natin, masarap siya, pero gano, katagal po na alagaan, you are wrong. No, because in the station, we found out that it can even be reduced in less than 60 days. Kaya lang problema natin, if it will be raising native chicken in less than 60 days, yung karne niya po hindi doon po ka intact po. No, mabilis po siyang uh, uh, mabasag yung mga laman-laman sa loob niya. But uh, when it comes naman po, quality it maintains. And we prepared for the marketing age. If you opted, for example, if you opted, na kung saan po yung manok niyo, you want about 900 grams live weight. Kasi pag uh, 900 grams live weight yan, uh, about yan hanggang mga 75 to 90 days, no? given the technology that we are at the station. But if you will be raising it on uh, uh, getting for example, dress weight of 500 grams, uh, mataas po kasi ang dressing percentage na native natin. Uh, that is um, an average of about 80%. Ibig sabihin, for a 900 grams live weight na marketable live weight natin, 
yung kanyang uh, dress weight niyan is uh, about na mga 700 to 720. So, yung 900 grams na tinalay bed, it can be extended no, from 75 to 90 days. Uh, it's just a matter of how, actually, kung tingnan po natin, if you want to adjust the growth of chicken, no, it, may, it may be adjusted in terms of the feeding and uh, the management by itself. Now, in terms of that is the cultural practices and how to control infection diseases, we have also the section in that book known as what they call the plaque health management. Yung plaque health management naman natin yung nagay doon, tandaan po natin. Yung pinaka-critical in terms of raising native chicken is the breeder stocks. Uh, uh, make sure that your breeder stocks is properly vaccinated. Iba kasi yung usapan, if you only be vaccinated then, uh, in organic uh, parlance, uh, vaccination is allowed Uh, ex, uh, as long as the diseases that you want to prevent or to control is prevalent in that kind of area. So, ibig sabihin na kung ano po ang sakit na manok na pinaka-prevalent sa lugar nyo, that is also the vaccine that you're going to use. Never use other, other vaccine na wala doon ang sakit na yan sa area nyo. Bakit? Ika mismo dala ng sakit mismo sa lugar nyo. So, plug health management. Uh, kung paano gamutin yung mga pinaka-common diseases. Uh, inside that book, written what they call the various plant-based uh, uh, medication. Ang tawag namin doon is what they call the phytobiotics. So, when we say about phytobiotics, that is a plant-based extracts no, process into either uh, waste na kung saan no, it can be used to control or prevent the infection of the diseases. We have also written in that book no, the uh, record-keeping and others. Maganda po siyang uh, guide po sa uh, to those who would like to venture on commercial scale of production uh, because it is a comprehensive book. Inside that book, it is a uh, 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 equipped also with pictures no, for AC understanding. So, sa mga gusto po na mag-avail ng book na to, no, uh, pwede nyo ilista yung pangalan nyo. No, hanapin nyo lang po dyan si Miss Danagabasa no, para po may lista yung mga pangalan nyo at para may padala po sa inyo ang book na gusto nyo. If you want to have a copy of that book, uh, remember that that book cannot be found in either in in uh, various bookstore. It can only be found, it can only be purchased right at Central Philippine University. Aside from this book as your comprehensive guide, what are other products that we can offer to uh, the research? We have also what they call the mini cornmeal. Uh, gaya ng sabi ko ang ina is that the the uh, largest part of producing native chicken is what they call the uh, use of supplemental feeds. Ang isa po sa consideration natin is that, that uh, if we are going to have uh, to raise native chicken commercial scale, ibig sabihin that we are not raising chicken here na kung saan konti, konti. Uh, based on experience that we have, if we'll be raising 100 uh, hens na para po pang uh, commercial scale, halos lugi ka. If you want i uh, break even no in terms of your operation you can have at least mga 300 to 400 hens para yung operation mo in terms of cost associated no mabilis mo na mabawi doon now in terms of uh, pinakamalaking gastos po doon sa paggana man no you have what called the supplemental feed bait shop supplemental feed bait shop if you want to raise native chicken in a uh, perish condition tandaan po natin tandaan po natin Uh, yung isa sa consideration natin in terms of very sensitive chicken sa isang inahin yung area requirement po natin is about 1.10 square meter per hen ibig sabihin if you have about 1 uh, hectare no, 10 square meter ibig sabihin uh, you have uh, going to raise 1,000 so if you have half hectare you have 500 hens ganyan po uh, kalawak ang kailangan natin lupain in terms of growing native chicken naman for market or intended for dress native chicken ang space requirement ng kada isang manok is what they call about 5 square meter per bird. However, the availability of supplemental feeds, or what they call as cabinjable feed resources in the area, it may be affected by the season and the topography in the plaque size. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabi natin topography, iba kasi ang patoka na makita mo sa area na kung saan medyo doon sa hilly areas compared to those areas or we are raising chicken in the lowland areas. In terms of season, iba naman yung availability ng scavengeable feed resources during the rainy season at saka during dry season. But remember always that as your plaque size, no, ibig sabihin ng plaque size natin, habang dumadami yung manok natin, 
yung ability po ng scavenable free resources ay buong baba po. That is why that the rule of giving supplemental feeding is very critical when you are using uh, native chicken in commercial scale. That is why that uh, yung isa palagi doon is that uh, if you want to raise native chicken in larger scale, ang um, isa problema mo, if you're going to make your own feeds, ang uh, problema po palagi na-associated is in terms of the uh, equipment. Sabihin, ah, sobrang mahal na equipment na kailangan natin dito if you're going to promulate our own feeds. Doon pa kayo nagkamali po. At Central Philippine University, we developed what they called a uh, mini corn mill. Ibig sabihin ng mini corn mill na ito po, uh, this can be used in areas. It can be used to mill corn, soya, and other grains. No? Uh, this is a cheaper version where you can make your own. If you have ever uh, uh, 500 hands to feed uh, lahat, pati si Siyo niya palakihin niyo, na eh, doon pwede mo magamit to. Uh, we developed this one based on experience. No, mas mura po ang uh, uh, kainatnan ng uh, investment cost in terms of what they call the mini corn mill. We, we try to to, work to to put what they call the shifter kasi ang kailangan po natin is that during the milling process, yung malaking kernels niya, kung kailangan mo ibalik, you can have it be back at the corn mill no, para madyas mo yung fineness no, or number of grits or the grit, the grit size no, na kailangan mo palabasin. Aside from the mini corn mill, no, as our banner project or as our banner product then, because in 2012, no, the Department of Science and Technology no, under the PICA ARD no, assigned uh, as researchers, uh, research pertaining and development of supplemental feeds. And out of that research in 2012, we were able to develop what they call the CPU feeds. Ang CPU feeds po, uh, that is a... Uh, scientifically studied uh, formulated feeds for your native chicken. This is the first in the Philippines that is uh, supplemental feeds na talagang para pa native chicken. Ang formulation po niyan makikita po natin po sa book na sinasabi ko kangina, yung commercial production of Philippine or organic uh, Philippine native chicken. Aside from CPU feeds, ito po ay is uh, pwede mo gamit ula agad-agad. We have also what they call the CPU feed uh, premix. Ibig sabihin po ng CPU feed premix, <clears throat> sa paggawa po ng patoka, ang pinaka-critical po dito is not those uh, feed stop na malakihan yung uh, bullion na, na nilagay po natin. Uh, yung pinaka-critical doon is yung mga maliliit na accounting uh, ingredient po. Ang tawag po natin dito is what they call the uh, premix. So, ang kailangan mo lang dito is about mga 2.5 to 3.2 kilograms per 100 kilogram of your uh, supplemental piece that you are going to formulate on your own. Uh, ito po kasi ang uh, mga micronutrients and micro-minerals and micro-vitamins and minerals can be found in this feed premix. And aside from that, for example, in your area, uh, murang mice, we are not suggesting to use this third product that we have. Kung mais, lugar niyo sobrang mahal. Uh, but if your area, medyo mura yung mais natin, yun yung uh, mabili dyan sa inyong lugar, you can use what they call the CPU-based mix feeds. Ang CPU-based mix feeds po, uh, ito po ay from uh, various type of classes of feeds. From booster, starter, grower, and even up to the breeder feeds. Na kung saan po. Ang kailangan mo lang dito is uh, sa simple way. Uh, for every 1 kilogram of uh, CPU based mix feeds, just add 2, ki 2 kilograms of uh, milled corn. No, please have it po, milled corn po. Yung giniling po nyo na mais doon sa corn meal natin na gawin po nyo dalawa po. So, ibig sabihin na uh, based on our computation, medyo may kamahalan per kilo yung base mix. But if you are going to have it be added with 2 kilograms of milled corn, mapamura po niya ang uh, presyo po ng patuka nyo. And uh, that is what they call the uh, one way also of helping our raisers kung paano po natin mapababa yung cost of production of raising native chicken. And to those who would like to have it be fully organic, no, we also have what they call the CPU pathogenic feed additives. Ibig sabihin ng pathogenic feed additives, this is the mixture or combinations of various uh, plant-based materials, plant-based materials na ginagamit namin to be part of your feeds. Kaya tag namin dito is phytogenic. Phyto means it is plant-derived type of additives. 
So aside from the supplemental page na hindi po siya makumplito, if in terms of sakit na mamanok nyo, na, iba kasi ng usapan natin, hindi naman kasi lahat ng panahon po walang sakit manok. Ang kailangan po natin aside from the biosecurity, kaya nga sabi ko palagi sa nagatay ng seminar namin dito CPO, preferably if you are keeping native chicken in larger scale, traffic or control na the number of visitors visiting your places. Bakit? Di mo kasi alam yan kung saan ang galing yan. Pag di mo alam, what if uh, this kind, uh, these people are bringing some infections? So, delikado po sa manok nyo. So, kaya nga dapat na i-control natin ang konti. No, you should apply what you call the biosecurity. But along with the biosecurity, no, uh, based on experience that we have in the station, no, uh, marami pong mga plant-based medication na halos mas effective pa nga compare natin with uh, synthetic antibiotics or synthetic veterinary drugs. And we, based on the research that we have conducted and experience that we have in the stations, no, we develop various products to cater this need. First, we have what they call the CPO phytobiotic tea. Ibig sabihin ng CPO phytobiotic tea, this is a tea form of phytobiotics. Ibig sabihin na ilaga mo lang konti, uh, kung paano mo pinipipil ang tea. Ganon din po ang gawin niyo po. Uh, it is being packed in a tea bag no, para sa mabilisang gamit niyo if you want to have it. Aside from CPO phytobiotic tea, we develop also what they call the CPO phytobiotic tablets. No? Uh, it came from uh, various combinations no? uh, of uh, medication of uh, elements that can be controlled or prevent by this kind of uh, medications. And the other one, we have also what they call the CPU Pyto Dewormer Capsule. No? Ang binta po nito is, uh, if you want to control kasi yung mga internal parasites, no, we develop no, this Pyto Dewormer. This is a plant-based Pyto Dewormer. Ito po ang mga medication na to, ito ang sumapadak na to po, is uh, uh, really developed out of the experience and researches that we conducted in the stations. Kaya nga sabi ko kanina, iba kasi ang usapan. Pag lumami yung manok po na nilagaan natin, here comes yung sakit po and others na kailangan po we should be innovative enough to develop certain uh, product na kung saan mag-akpa doon. Yan kasi ang pinakalaking uh, dagok po sa pag-alaga ng organic chicken. Bakit? We have this kind of technology but if we don't have any alternative medications na to make sure that it's, it will not be treated with synthetic chemicals, doon po tayo mahirapan. Uh, actually, the buyer is buying native chicken because they are believing it is free from synthetic chemicals. So that is why that in this station, we develop this various product no, to cater the needs of the racers. Aside from the product that we develop, no, with numbers of years of experience that we have, no, uh, paulit-ulit na nangyayari, minsan we, 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 we tended to develop new innovations, new innovations, so what they call innovations, and how to uh, control or how to ease the problem. In terms of incubation po, uh, native chicken is, uh, uh, we develop what they call the uh, hatchery facility. So, pag sinabi po natin hatchery facility po, that is intended from the production of the old chicks. Now, so, you need what they call the hatchery. In hatchery, incubation kasi po, may dalawang equipment na kaya kailangan dyan. You have what they call the uh, sitter and you have what they call the uh, hatcher. Yung sitter po, uh, doon po na lang kayang itlog po the first 18 days. And after 18 days, it will, to 22 days, no, it will be transferred in the hatcher. Now, iba kasi yung operation in terms of sitter and the hatcher. All the operation no, in this kind of uh, sitter and hatcher, no, yung temperature, yung humidity, no, that is automatically controlled. Even yung turning ng egg, it is automatically controlled. In terms of the size of the uh, capacity of your uh, sitter in Hatser, based on experience that we have, no, health-wise, health-wise, pag sinabit po natin health-wise, yung nag-alaga o nag-ooperate ng uh, incubator nyo at saka Hatser. Pero probably, no, kung if you want to have a, uh, this kind of equipment, probably do not buy more than 500 capacity na egg na sitter. Bakit? Mas nabilis sa i-manage, cleanliness-wise, at saka ang importante doon is that yung pine feeders, ang pine feeders, 
uh, lalo na po nasa hot sub. Uh, pag napisa kasing sisaw dyan, na when you are going to get the uh, sisaw, na the DOC after 22 days, yung fine feeders due to hot sing, lumilipag kasi yan po ang pasok hanggang sa ilong ng uh, ating tauhan. So personal, make sure that uh, maliliit siya po, uh, kung maliliit po siya, mabilis siya i-maintain o i-manage. And aside from the hot sleep facility, no, uh, critical kasi ang facility and equipment when it comes to raising it in chicken and commercial scale. We have also what they call the housing facility. Now, this station no, is helping racers on how to design and fabricate what they call the housing facility pertinent to your uh, need to produce native chicken. Uh, yung housing po natin, we have for the breeders, we have for the brothers. Yung brothers po kasi, breeder po kasi, uh, critical po. Now, we have some uh, consideration in terms of the uh, Filipino mm -hmm. standard of, of uh, fabricating the housing for native chicken. So, we can help you to design the housing no, uh, the, the housing pertinent in your locations. Iba kasi ang design when you are developing housing ng breeder in the hilly area compared than in terms of the flat area. No, we have also po brooding. No, isa po sa pinakamalaking gastos po in terms of the brooder is in terms of the electricity for brooding. So we design or we develop housing designs na yung cost associated with electricity mapababa po natin during the brooding. And we have also what they call the grow-out facility. When you say about grow-out facility, uh, ang brooding po, sanitive chicken, is different from the commercial breed kasi sa commercial breeds, it may last for about uh, two weeks, but for native chicken, no, it even be lasting about 30 days. Uh, yun kasi ang pinaka-critical na edad ng mark natin na dapat it should be properly housed, otherwise, mortality. Uh, Raising native chicken in previous condition, mortality by itself, no, is more than 40%. More than 40%. That is why na kung sabihin po natin na yung raising native chicken in previous condition, mura, try nyo ikwan, try nyo i-compute. From the mortality to be included in the cost, the supplemental feeds, the labor that you have, halos mas mahal ang katumbas niyan if you are going to account all those things. Kaya nga yung focus na researches ngayon, uh, for some other situation is that on how to reduce mortality how to reduce mortality uh, some of the consideration there is in terms of your housing facility by itself, the housing facility and no, the production protocol that you are using ang isa pa sa consideration natin in terms of uh, we have what they call the uh, hatchery facility and we have what they call the uh, designing and fabrications of the housing facility the third one na very critical in terms, of, in terms of commercial scale production is in terms of collecting excreta or the waste product of your or the excreta of your native chicken. So, in the brooding stage, no, mahirap kasi mag sobrang dami if you are going to have the rice sa lasibiring materials actually if you are raising only by the hundreds, walang problema yan. But in terms na ngayon po, halos ang rice sa po ngayon na medyo kaunti na. Na kaunti. Bakit? Bakit? Uh, Majority of the rice are produced in the rice mill. Ginagamit siyang panggatong doon sa mga, uh, tawag dito natin, sa mga rice dryer. So, at CPO, no, we develop what they call an automated no, excreta collecting. No, whereby we're using what they call conveyors and it is automated. So, meaning mayroong set of time na siya, na siya mismo kusang loob na gumagana para siya mismo mag-collect ng excreta ng yung manok. And that is one way and how that we can help to minimize the odor, possibly eliminate the odor in the housing. Kasi po, ang isa po sa mga nakita namin kadalaginanan kung bakit mataas ang motority natin inside the housing, it is because of the accumulation of ammonia in the housing. Uh, it is more of what they call the management practices. Kaya nga, to ease the problem no, in terms of those ammonia, in, in terms of tauhan, kasi po, as the number of chicken that you are raising, dumadami po, a number of personnel that you're needing is also dumadami po. So that is why we develop this kind of facility para po ang pagaan yung uh, pag-alaga ng manok natin yan sa respective areas niyo po. And aside from that, we have also catering what they call the base and experience that we have uh, buying existing uh, equipment pertaining to feed milling. Uh, ang problema namin po is the wear and tear. 
wear and tear. Pag sabi wear and tear po, maintenance wise, maintenance wise. So that is why that uh, in the station, we develop our own equipment in terms of the feed milling. Sabi daw doon that if you want to put up a feed mill, no, you, should prepare, you should prepare what they call a uh, capital investment of uh, more than millions of capital. But for us at uh, Central Philippine University, no, uh, we develop what they call feed mill equipment. Tango saan mura lang. No, we tend to develop this is what they call a community based feed milling. We develop our own equipment, maintenance wise, maintenance wise, and uh, fuel consumption utilization. Po. Mas kaunte po sa ang fuel consumption niya, and uh, it can mill by the tons. So we develop what they call a uh, uh, heavy duty no feed mill equipment for this purpose. Yung feed mill na to po. Uh, it can produce as many as 5 to 10 tons of feeds per week. Yan yan po kadami. It depends on the available, uh, ang operation po natin dito is less than 8 hours per day. No. Isang tauhan ang kailangan mo. Or if you have other person uh, during milling, no, the isa o dalawa lang kailangan mo dito to produce this kind of uh, bullion of feeds. Ang ginagamit namin po dito, we try to promote what they call the community-based uh, feed milling. Ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng community-based feed milling? Uh, iba po ang commercial. If you want to engage really in commercial, sobrang dami ng uh, capitalization na kailangan mo. But in this kind of uh, technology that we develop, kaunti lang. Actually, the, <clears throat> the cost associated here, uh, because you're only using what they call scrap materials in the development, halos if you're going to entail all the cost na uh, that is, the investment is less than 500,000 for you to produce uh, about 5 to 10 tons of uh, supplemental feeds per week. So this is ideal equipment for uh, community-based feed billing. This is one way and how na kung saan po sa area po natin, if it is a uh, corn belt area na kung saan marami pong mais din sa area nyo, and uh, you can have it be processed into feeds, the better it will be. Bakit? Pag ibinta po nyo natin yung mga mais natin doon sa mga middleman po, sobrang baba. But if you're going to convert that into supplemental feeds, ibig sabihin, you are, you, you are putting what they call a value adding to your product. Value adding to your product. So at CPU, you know, we develop this kind of equipment based on resources that we have para po makitar natin yung ang kinakailangan po ng mga committee natin when it comes to uh, formulating their own feeds and uh, CPU is very much willing to share this technology among those technology takers that would like to tap uh, with us. And aside from that, we have also what they call the facilities equipment needed for as an input for your commercial production with chicken. Uh, we have also what they call the main products of researchers. Kaya nga sabi ko ina that uh, uh, maybe or uh, can be possibly that we are the only the, the, the station that we are only conducting research here but we are integrating business out of research that we have na kaya nga uh, iba ang operation namin uh, in terms of the products no, main product if your problems about breeder stocks uh, this station is really promoting what they call diversity genetic diversity that is why we used to grow here now uh, hulu and uh, the bisaya chicken one from the larger genetic group and the other is from the smaller genetic group yung bisaya kasi smaller genetic group ang hulu po is a bigger genetic group we are also selling what they call the on a um, tawag natin dito is in terms of uh, on a uh, 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 dapat po a sabi a contact niyo muna yung station namin na in terms of the bbt of the stocks ta so we have also selling what we call bidder stocks. Ang bidder stocks na to po is uh, we really uh, uh, develop them to adjust even in a harsh condition. No, kailangan kasi po to hindi laki si lahat ng condition na pupunta ng bidders, na mga bidders na develop namin station can be favorable to them. But there may be some areas na kung saan medyo uh, critical po. So that is why that uh, we develop no, the stocks intended talaga for bidding. So, selection process, it starts from the egg up to the time when uh, it is now ready to become a bidder stock. Standard po natin, if we want to raise native chicken, yung bidder stocks po natin is very critical. And remember always that yung bidder stocks natin, uh, particularly yung mga inahi natin, uh, it should only up to two years of production. Alright, why? Because after two years, the egg production will start to decline. 
And aside from the bitter stocks, we have also what they call the, the old chicks. So on the old chicks, that's po, no, you can also acquire with us. Now this is out of the Bisay and Hulu. And we are also selling what they call the hardened chicks. Ang hardened chicks po na to, that is, that is uh, aging about a month old. No, 30 days old na binibinta namin as the hardened chicks. Ang purpose kasi nito kasi if you are not uh, uh, will burst in terms of braising native chicken and you'll be starting on the old chicks, uh, mataas kasi ang uh, mortality sa sisiu. Unlike for the hardened chicks na kusan medyo malaki na sa nagbante. No? And we have also, no, the, we are not selling the grow out na 3 months old, but we are selling what they call the dress native chicken. So right now, this station, right now, uh, we are simulating now na uh, kami lapata dito si Lo, we are able to uh, bring about more than 1,000 uh, native chicken doon mismo sa dressing plant na try namin for what they call the dressing. So we have also what they call the fertilized table egg. Ang fertilized table egg na ito medyo may, may kalaitan to because this is what they call the discarded egg. Ito ni fresh from the farm. Kaya lang, no, hindi sa pasok doon for incubation. Bakit? During incubation po, yung may itlog na less than 39 grams po, uh, kinakal namin yan, pinipili na namin, kinapalabas namin kasi uh, yung itlog na maliit po, it will produce more chicks. Pag smaller yung sisiw po, yung survival rate masadong mababa. At saka in terms of uh, tao dito yung paglaki po, medyo mahina po maglaki. So ganyan nga sabi natin na if you want, iba kasi ang target natin if you are raising that in commercial scale, iba ang usapan natin than raising it chicken solely for household consumption. And we have also some product, it is what they call a marinated chicken. So ang marinated chicken naman ito, na this is ready to cook na. So ibig sabihin, na if you want to cook native chicken, na organically raised or, or chemical pre na pag-alaga ng manok, na you can have what they call the marinated one. And aside from those products, no, the equipment, no, the facility equipment, and the product as native chicken, we use also to offer what they call the barrio services. No, so you say about barrio services po. Ito po ang mga services na pinatimibigay sa mga would-be racers ng uh, native chicken and commercial scale. We have what they call the uh, personalized training. When you say about personalized training, anong pag naiba nito? This is the first in the Philippines. No, uh, this station is the first in the Philippines to offer what they call the personalized training. Pag sabi pa ating personalized training, ibig sabihin po, one-on-one uh, -on -one discussion po tayo uh, in terms of uh, raising native chicken. Iba kasi ang usapan, if you are raising native chicken, the better first before you putting up all your investments, dapat equip mo na yung sarili mo. Remember that we are putting our hard-earned money in this kind of project. Uh, mahirap kasi na yung ginagawa natin is more on what they call the uh, uh, trial and error. Iba ang usapan. Uh, 1,000 is 1,000. So make sure to equip first yourself. So we offer what they call the personalized learning. We have also what they call the on-the-job immersion program. Ang personalized learning, it can be either for the owner and the caretaker, but preferably the owner, and uh, maybe before the year end, we'll be offering uh, two classes of personalized learning. We have what they call the personalized learning for the owner and personalized learning for the uh, caretaker, so what they call the farm personnel. We have the other project known as what they call services, known as what they call the on-the-job immersion program, or what they call the OGIP. Ang OGIP na to po is really intended no, for uh, the uh, farm personnel that will do what they call the hands-on operation. Because in the OGIP, it is more of what they call the on-the-job immersion, meaning the hands-on training photo. No hands on. So in terms of the lecture, county lang, but uh, the person that you will be sending to us will be directly immersed in our project and uh, teach them on how to operate the uh, who total operation of raising native chicken. And uh, from time to time, now we are also offering what they call the seminar or what they call the training. So in our page, na Pinipin Native Chicken, na ipakita ko sa inyo sa pinakadulo mamaya, na you can contact us. No? We are conducting series of trainings, but this training, ano pinakaiba ng training na to? This training is a uh, specialized training on commercial scale of production. So, ibig sabihin na lahat ng tupikyo na, na tinatakal dito, it is more or what they call the commercial scale. Ang kaganda nito is that after the training, no, you have, we'll be given a chance to visit our station 
para po makita nyo ang actual operation ng Manok. That is why the, the training that we're conducting, again, that is all Iloilo based. Bakit po lahat po ng facility dito and equipment is located in Iloilo? Mahirap kasi na if we keep on discussing and discussing about commercial scale of production with chicken, na wala po tayong pakita. Kaya nga, uh, pasensya na po sa mga gusto mag-seminar, uh, uh, the lot of invitations for us to conduct seminar in Luzon and Mindanao. But uh, sorry to say po, uh, again, we are Iloilo based. Now, we, we encourage na, na kung if you really want to learn about native chicken, please na attend to our training at Iloilo because our facility is located in this place. And aside from that, we have also what we call for the institutions. Now, we are also operating what we call as technology provider. So, ibig sabihin, na, for example, po, sa mga institution, ng governmental organization or governmental organizations that would like to avail our services, now we're also operating what they call the uh, uh, known as what they call technology providing, providers. Ibig sabihin, we can provide the necessary technology na kinakailangan nyo para sa community na kung saan doon kayo tumatrabaho. Uh, that is one way in how we can help no, the different institutions na kung saan po uh, makatulong po tayo sa community no, in uh, raising native chicken and commercial scale. Those are what we call the different services that we offer no, at uh, Central Philippine University Research Station for Philippine Native Chicken. So halos lahat-lahat na ito, it is not because of what we need but it is supported with science and experience no, and uh, the activity that we are doing for a number of decades right now in, at Central Philippine University. Now, ang tanong ngayon, bakit uh, CPU? No, why CPU registration for Philippine Native Chicken? Tandaan po natin. We started it as a livelihood. Ibig sabihin po, uh, based on studies conducted, uh, follow-up studies conducted, now, way back in 2010, almost 15% of the household expenditure in the rural areas is contributed na by Native Chicken. Ibig sabihin po, from ulam, no hanggang uh, gift hanggang po uh, pambenta uh, ng pambenta po ang native chicken po ang contribution niya in the total household expenditure from the meat to the egg that is about 15% isipin po natin yan that is why that uh, many literature claim that uh, raising native chicken is an integral component of farming system in the Philippines 15% contribution is great now Aside from that, that uh, CPU is looking at as a livelihood. Second is that we can keep on innovation. Kaya nga sa mga pupunta sa amin dito, sa mga tagatapang kilik po ng Philippine Native Chicken, ng CPU Philippine Native Chicken, alam kong makita pa nyo, every year, there is, we keep on innovating something. Changes happens. Bakit that is based on experience and based on science? That is why we keep on updating or innovating our facilities and equipment to fit in with the requirement of keeping native chicken in larger scale. Otherwise, kasi if we will be stagnant in terms of operation, the housing person, iba kasi ang design of housing, uh, speaking about backyard, raising only less than 100 than keeping native chicken by the thousands. Iba. That is why that we keep on innovation, innovating something to fit in really with the requirement that we have. And uh, the other one is what we call dedication and experience that we have. Dedications in the sense that uh, these stations, in behalf of the other opportunity, we are still dedicated uh, with our slogan, you know, helping the Philippine chicken industry to scientific innovations. We are a specialized stations you know, on researches on Philippine native chicken. So, lahat ng researches namin dito, kaya nga sabi nila, the CPU Philippine Native Chicken is a one-stop shop when it comes to technology, uh, package with technology in terms of the equipment and facilities and even up to the marketing and processing of native chicken. Now, we are specializing on native chicken. So, the dedications that we have on the case of studies and experience that we have is so guaranteed that uh, uh, we are moving, uh, going to a track of commercialization. And besides with it, why is that the innovation at CPO is clinically uh, uh, done? It is because we work with other experts. We are not only doing it because sabihin natin na kami yung station, lahat ng uh, galingan dito sa amin, but we are also working you know, on the 
various experts from the various disciplines. Anong pong target natin dito? Ang pinaka-goal ng project nito is that probably time will come na if we'll be keeping chicken by the thousands, but we're only employing na uh, minimal number of personals. Bakit? As the number of personal increases, magiging problema mo po yan. So one way on how to reduce the number of labor is in terms of uh, making our operation to be more on what they call the automated mode. Uh, that is why that right now in the station, uh, we are now planning to develop a uh, museum of technology. Now, hoping that uh, before the year end, you now we can uh, put up this museum of technology that is from the time we started the commercial scale operation way back as early as 2012 technologies uh, up to the present will be showcased you now in our Saraga Farm, CPU Saraga Farm station. And we'd like to invite you all to visit our station by the time come para makita nyo po and how we innovate something from 2012 to 2019. And the other one is that why CPU preventive chicken? We work with investors. We work with investors. Ibig sabihin po, now we have what they call a periodic meeting with our technology takers. Bakit po? Ano pong purpose niyan? Ang purpose niyan is that na para malaman namin is that why na yung industry by itself, ano lang common problem na nag along the way as the implemented project. Uh, kahit po sino po sa atin siguro, nakita po natin, Doon ang kagandahan ng native chicken. But the question right now is that how many of those invested were able to sustain their operations? Kaya nga, we, we try to engage or to immerse ourselves with the investors by themselves. Uh, Usap-usapan, kwentohan, ano pa may tulong na station, ano ba common problem that they have na kung saan yung station po makatulong. Ang pinakagawa natin ito is a sustainable livelihood. Sustainable livelihood. Otherwise kasi pag uh, walang sustainability po to hanggang kwentuhan lang tayo. Mahirap kasi ng kwento ng kwento na walang kwentahan. And as I pamit, from investor, we are also working with farmers. So, right directly in the field, we immerse ourselves no, in the uh, field to really determine and how we can help to develop something from the station na kung saan yung native chicken industry will prosper in its operation and to meet with the increasing demand. Masakit po isipin po na on 2013, the demand of the country is about 230 plus million heads of native chicken, but even right now, it could not be supplied. Ang kagandaan po ng station na to is that, uh, aside from what we have mentioned, we have what we call the R&D component, the R&D team. The R&D team that we have, kung may problema pa makita during the operation, it is being conducted by a series of researchers. The involvement of the faculty and staffs, faculty, staff, and students of this college that work for the Pilipinative Chicken. So, yan ang ibig sabihin na, sabi natin na, ilong based on, na, uh, is keep on uh, moving in this institution because of the R&D team that we have. Yung sa industry po kasi ang pinakamagastos na bahagi po is the R&D component. R&D component. Otherwise kasi pag uh, magiging contento lang tayo kung ano ang nandoon ngayon, Yung competition kasi in the market is alive. Is alive. Ibig sabihin that the R&D component must be implemented so that whatever the problems na innovations can be took place na para po ang magiging, ang project ay magiging competitive. And beside of it, na we are proud to say that in this station, we are not only here intending to develop production technology, but even along the value chain, along the value chain. Pag isipin natin value chain natin o supply chain natin from the input until it reaches what they call the table of the racers, of the consumers pala. Now, that is very critical kasi. So that is why that we try to even to immerse ourselves in terms of the dressing plant and storage and others in the processing. Kaya ang masabi natin is that no, from farm to table activity that we are doing at the station. Uh, that is what they call the commitment of this uh, institution. We are true to our slogan that we are helping the Pilipinian chicken industry through scientific innovation and we are bridging the gap no, between the racers and the consumers through innovative production and marketing. Now, who are our enablers? Alam po namin that we cannot do this alone without the help of our enablers. Ibig sabihin ng enablers natin, yung sumusuporta sa amin to do this one. And we'd like to thank no, uh, this institution for helping us, for the trust that they are giving to us 
no in doing this activity alam namin po uh, sobrang bigat nito kaya nga minsan uh, will be misinterpreted by the others uh, but i would like to correct these things uh, iba kasi ang usapan if the station will only doing researches to produce technology and give it to the farmers iba din ang usapan if the station is doing research and putting that into business no kaya nga the investment that the neighbors giving to us no we try to make use it as a seed money to do something para to help this Philippine native chicken industry. First, we have what we call our institution, the other institution that we have, the Central Philippine University. No, I am glad and uh, the, the research team, no, uh, of Philippine native chicken, of Philippine native chicken, is glad no to the CP administration for giving us no fund. Alam niyo po when we started activity po for Philippine native chicken. Uh, in commercial scale of production as early as 2002, the university is uh, always giving us the fund. Kahit na kaunti kaunti lang, alam niyo po, when we started research on native chicken, we started with a research fund of about 50,000 per research. Ganyan po ka, ka, kalaki po ang investment na ginagawa namin doon way back in 2002. But as the scope of the research uh, tumataas po, the university is very much willing to invest, no? On the sense. Now, we'd like to extend our thank to the uh, uh, CPO administration, headed by our board of trustees, uh, Chairman uh, Attorney Bon Lobel Bidona, and our uh, CPO President Dr. Chudro Cerobles for giving us the opportunity uh, in uh, banking this kind of research undertakings under the Philippine Native Chicken. At saka yung isa po na makipong utang ng loob namin in CPO, that is why that. We are true to our commitment is the Department of Agriculture. Now, as early as 2012, now the Regional Field of Physics, 6 now or the DA, now is giving us a uh, fund for this undertaking. Now, uh, that is headed then by the Regional Field Director, Larry uh, Nationalis, and the uh, uh, Regional Technical Director, Parishers, Dr. Joyce Windham, for the trust and confidence then. Now, alam niyo pa, in 2012, I uh, mean, po may mga problema kami na as we go along on the process, the DA is always there to support us. And right now, since 2013-14, uh, we are glad to be one of the partner research institution now by the um, Bureau of Agricultural Research, the uh, DA, the IBAN, the Bureau of Agricultural Research, whereby it giving us the fund toward what they call development of packages of technology for organic production of uh, native chicken in commercial scale. Na, so that is why we keep on doing this one with our enablers. Kasi nakita po natin, there are a lot of uh, research agenda in the country na pertinent on the utilization of native chicken. Maraki po ang demand. The only problem is that on how to do it in commercial scale na kung saan, it will also match us with the requirement of the market. And we're also glad no, to the uh, Department of Science and Technology for initiating the fund no, that we developed by the CV feed mill along with the Commission on Higher Education for the development po ng curricula for native chicken. The Central Philippine University College of Agriculture, Resources, and Environmental Sciences now as a center of excellence for agriculture education is tasked by the Commission on Higher Education to develop a specific uh, curricula intended for Philippine native chicken. And right now, we develop a group of uh, uh, OFWs and investors under the banner name. Now we have what they call the logo known as what they call the Philippine Native Chicken. In terms of the experiences directly from the field, experience with investors is being considered and brought to us you now in the station to work into something that is greater to help this kind of industry. Those are what they call our enablers and let at least farmers na in the field where we expose na sobrang dami po nila po na hindi po namin maibigay lahat-lahat but we are glad to those uh, individuals or group na hindi ko pa masabi lahat dito for helping us to become a specialized station on Philippine native chicken Now, ang tanong ngayon na uh, ano bang basihan namin when we do this kind of undertakings First, we do it in what they call the uh, sequential mode na we consider the value chain analysis na, uh, of the various regions on uh, pertaining on native chicken. Ang problema po natin is that uh, 
why is that native chicken keep on increasing, the demand is keep on increasing, but the supply is very limited. It is because what we found out is that the technology developed at the research station, it does not match us with the requirement of the consumers in terms of the milk quality and in terms of the need of the racers. That is why in this station, ginagawa namin ng paraan, doing one job, na kung saan masagot mo na requirement ng uh, uh, racers mo, masagot mo pa ang kinakailangan ng consumers mo. Why? Based on existing studies, it shows that survival rate of native chicken is lower. And that is true. Based on a study we conducted, production studies, as early as 2003 and follow up in 2010, it shows that the mortality of native chicken under the full playlist condition, under the pill condition, no, it may be as high as 60%. We just narrowed down into an average about 45%. Ganyan po madami yung mortality natin. Marami yung sisiyo mo. Ang problema mo naman is that in terms of pagpunta doon sa bintahan. Secondly, racers wanted that the native chicken can be raised in maybe limited time or shorten the growing period. It does not necessarily mean na uh, pababaan natin to become com comparable with the broilers. Iba kasi ta natin po, iba yung market ng native chicken natin with the broilers. Kaya nga, dapat na pababaan. Bakit? Kung lang isa ko pang attendee in my seminar coming from uh, Mindanao, sabi niya daw, it took almost 9 months bago niya bibenta manok niya weighing about 1 kilo. Pag ganyan katagal po, investment wise, investment wise, we need the return to income. Kaya nga, in the station, we were able to have it be narrowed down into 3 months, weighing almost 800 to 900 grams. You can have it if you want a dressing uh, weight about 500 grams. Now, you can have it even to 2 months. Kaya lang problema natin, yung karne niya po, hindi po ganun ka-intact po. We need to have it at least mga 75 to 90 days. Ganyan po. Now, on the other hand, yung ating consumers po, the wanted native chicken na kung saan, they wanted a more tender and juicy meat. However, if the racers would like, would raising, would like to raise would like to raise native chicken in a prince condition, tanda po natin, habang lumalawak yung lalakaran ng manok natin, yung meat po niya, yung muscle meat niya po, tumitigas yan, tumitigas yan. So that is why that if you want a tender and juicy meat, restrict the movement of chicken. Probably that, that is not necessarily mean that you are going to have it raised na in one square meter, in one square foot, no, you can have at least 35 chicken. Na, that is not what I mean. But probably po, i-limit mo natin movement niya. Ibig sabihin po, huwag natin pagalain halos sa buong farm. If you want the chicken na kung saan to have a tender and juicy meat. Pangalawa po is in terms of uh, consistency of the meat, taste and quality. Yung manok po natin, pag pinapagalaw yung manok natin po, itry po nyo, try po nyo. Yung manok po, ang lasa ng manok during rainy season, compared to the dry season, is different po. Different. Bakit? Iba kasi ito tuka niya. Kaya nga, if you want the taste of the meat to be consistent, dapat you must to offer what they call supplemental feeds. And the distinctive taste only of chicken will come if yung supplemental feeds natin, that is, will be made up of about various several uh, feed stock. Now, other one is that stability of supply. Supply po, kaunti pong supply. How can we, how can we, we cater the demand of the uh, market kung supply po naman natin sa market po is kaunti. That is why that we should do it in a sense na kung saan po, we should do it in a commercial scale. That is why we are working, now working to answer the problem of the racer at the same time meeting the requirement of the market. That is how this undertaking at CPU is being done and uh, looking at the value chain. Now, various problems can be identified as seen in your screen. From the input, production, trading, processing, distributing, and event up to the final sale. That is where we anchor all, all our undertakings at CPU now, uh, and how to help this native chicken industry. Now, in terms of our organizational chart, again, we are under the uh, leadership of our university president, and this station is, uh, is uh, overseen by the two 
BP, we have the BP for finance and enterprises in the business side of our operation and in terms of research operation that we have under the BP for academic affairs. Now, what are the risks associated in raising Philippine native second and commercial scale? First, tandaan pa natin. Do not venture this kind of business if you yourselves is not equipped. Bakit po? Tandaan po, ang pera, ang pera po na inibis natin dito is a hard-earned money that we have. Equip yourself first before investing your money. Pangalawa po, hire knowledgeable personnel. Minsan po, ang iniisip po natin, na if you are the OFW professionals, na minsan po tayo dapat na yung nag-alaga naman natin, mga mag-anak natin per se. But make sure that the person that is directly doing what they call the dirty job for us is knowledgeable to that activity that we have. And the third one is the technical support. Tandaan po natin technical support that is very critical. Otherwise, kasi information derived from various uh, sources or literature, maganda po yan. But as we go along with the project that we have, na yung problema po, oh, nandoon palagi yan. So, better to have what they call the uh, technical support na kung saan po nyo makukuha po yan. Na, uh, in various areas, in various ways. Na CPU extending our support, later on, I will show you the different media where you can contact us if you have some problems pertaining on raising the chicken. Source of inputs is also very critical. Quality inputs po. Ngayon po, nagliliro na sobrang dami na ng social media, sering bios product, but make sure that if you will be uh, getting some of these inputs, make sure that uh, you can acquire it directly uh, from a reliable source. Tandaan po natin that we are producing a premium products. A premium product. That is why if we are producing premium products, make sure that there is what they call the price and market support. Iba kasi nung sapan, ganito yung demand kasi, but what is very critical, I think, is the price. Ibang usapan, ganyan 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 karami yung kailangan niya, but if the price will not meet your own, uh, doon tayo malulugi. It's very, it's very critical. Kaya nga, the price and market support is very critical. Given all this other problem that is can be mentioned because of the limited time that I have now in this uh, investment forum, uh, uh, considering all the premises that I mentioned earlier uh, to this present, uh, actually, we are not we are now doing what they call the simulation on what they call the innovative production and marketing scheme. Uh, this is more of what they call the venture first. Uh, we are not yet ready to have it be done in commercial scale, but hoping that uh, this can be fully materialized given experiences and given the problems that we encounter. Now, ito po ang tag namin dito is innovative production and marketing scheme. Uh, this is still on the infancy stage of operations, but hoping that uh, maybe by the year 2020, now we can have this one be uh, fully implemented. This is one way on how to help our OFWs, professionals, and uh, others or even retirees. Na kung saan po you don't have the pressure of time, but you have the amount of money to invest. Uh, in this way, now yung preliminary activities dito is that the operation of your farm will be the one who will be operating your farm and uh, what you'll be only contributing is in terms of the investment. Uh, kaya lang po, hindi pa ganoon siya po karaip and uh, I would like to uh, encourage you all if you have uh, the access to the various uh, e-platform, electronic platforms, you can follow us at the Philippine Team Chicken. Na, uh, marami pong Philippine Team Chicken po sa Facebook po uh, makikita po nyo, try to look on what they call the logo now that is uh, showing the chicken and the logo, combination of the logo of uh, chicken and the Central Philippine University. Now, makikita po nyo sa Facebook page, yan po ang page namin po na kung saan you can ask questions, you can send us messages, you can even browse our page for various updates of the technologies. We have also what they call the, the Twitter account. Now, you can also see some of the photos of the technology that we developed in the station. Now, iba kasi kung usapan, pag makita mo kasi yung uh, directly from the photos, na kung saan po, pwede nyo po makikita yan sa Twitter account namin, na as seen in your screen, na tingnan po nyo yung uh, page na yan, please visit the Twitter, 
Now, please follow us no, even in the Facebook. Uh, you can follow and like our page no, para if then we have what we call the updates. Mabilis na feed sa news, feed new. And we have the other one, if you want the video documentations no, of the best technologies and seminars that we have, no, you can visit our YouTube channel. No, hanapin nyo lang po ang pangalan ko po, nandoon po yun sa YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. So, kung meron po kayong katanungan, na you can directly connect us with that various social media page and uh, you can also get no, some contact with uh, Miss Danagabasa na nandoon mismo sa inyo po. Uh, you can uh, get some contact number there para po makakonect po kayo sa amin dito sa Central Philippine University po. Again po, we would like to extend our gratitude to the DA Amas no, for providing us this opportunity no, na kung saan po ma-relay po namin yung technology na generate namin dito at Central Philippine University Research Station for Philippine Native Chicken. Uh, I would like also to ask for apology na hindi po ako makapunta personal because of some of my commitment over here, emergency commitment at the university. But uh, as I promised, now we are extending technology. Please connect us with various uh, platform that I presented na kung saan po and some other ways we can help you in raising Native Chicken. Happy uh, Native Chicken Farming to all of you. Again, Good day and uh, thank you.